Ned's kind of like my best friend and also all my family in one. We're kind of inseparable, really. Albert and Dora sit by the door and wait. And when you come through the door and they go absolutely bananas, which is a really, really nice thing to come home to. It's just one of those things where you wake up in the morning and you've got this ridiculously energetic little creature that just hangs off your every word. It's just like, you know, that level of companionship you don't really get from humans. Since I've had Pasha, I've actually grown to be a lot more responsible with life. Getting up in the morning is so much easier. We've changed our lives to go to pubs and restaurants that the dogs can come to and the dogs have their pet passports, they come on holiday abroad with us. Me and Ned actually go everywhere together. If there are any places that don't allow dogs, I just won't go there. When we're travelling, he'll just lie himself down in the middle of the carriage, panting, looking at anyone, and if you make eye contact, he'll just walk up to you, sit at your feet, and just be like, here I am. They know when you're sad, upset, depressed. When you're down, the best thing to do is stroke a dog. It relieves stress, and it actually does, and I didn't realise how much until you got one. I actually do suffer from depression, and Ned's really good with that. He can kind of tell when I'm down. He'll cheer me up, really. He'll get me through it. When, you know, the office is under a bit of stress, the team will always say to me, can you bring the dog to work? Because just having a dog cuddle just makes it all feel better. When it was Errol's first birthday, we had a birthday party for him. We had poor Secco <laughs> and loads of dog cupcakes. <laughs> if it was us being looked after by dogs, I think I'd probably want more bones. They don't really share very well. That's the one thing they don't share yeah. is bones, so they're not allowed them anymore. <laughs> oh, if they had to look after us, we'd starve, because they'd eat all the food. Blue would make us go on a thousand walks a day, so we'd be really fit. If Rue was looking after me, I think he'd want to take me to a really nice restaurant and feed me some delicious food. If it was reversed and Ned was looking after me, I think the main thing he'd want is a permanent roof over our heads.